terrific. This it's a trick. Last... That's a trick poem. We just. It was a little joke. Yeah. Uh, got real serious, and then yeah. that happened to me one night. I felt very demeaned. <laughs> I called a call service, and she treated me like I was a subnormal, like oh. I was unworthy oh. of them sending a girl. Another time I tried, and they chew it, and they sent all kinds of girls. <laughs> when was this oh, I was, oh, listen to this. When was <laughs> this pop? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, poetry's turned into an institution. I don't know yeah. what it's turned into. But it's never been very interesting from the beginning. From the, its very conception, it's been kind of a... Even the schoolboys never liked it. We, we knew there was something wrong with it, you know. Did you feel it's, that uh, when you were... Yeah, you when, I was, when I was a... I thought poetry's for sissies. It doesn't sound right. It's fake. And they were right. It is for a lot of sissies. And then there's a lot of fakeness to it. It's not very human. It's not very real. It's kind of dandified. It's kind of frilled up. Kind of fancified. Now, even nowadays, it's not good for me when I try to read it. So, here we are. Anyhow. Did Whitman make sense to you at all? Oh, yeah, I loved his stuff. Long, rolling lines, yeah. He was full of uh, baloney and interesting crap, you know. Yeah, he was a lively one. Yeah, because your stuff always reminded me of Whitman. Oh, oh. Thank you, thank you. Well, without, without all that... The belief that carried him away. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that was the one thing. Yeah. I don't have that anchor. But the interest in called the belief. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, darling? <laughs> no. Well, you have an anchor in your own work, though. Yeah, it, it, it pulls me down. <laughs> <laughs> So, should we try mm -hmm. another? <clears throat>